So narcissistic parents ridicule you and they mock at you. Yeah, and they will belittle your, you know, success, achievement. And all of it is basically to instill this, you know, feeling of inadequacy and, you know, unworthiness. Yeah. I mean, my father is not, you know, uh, validating, you know, my success and achievement because it's not good enough. He did a lot more when he was of my age. Uh, maybe I need to do a little more. Yeah. I mean, all of the gaslighting, the kids are, you know, confused. And, you know, uh, they simply give up. Hey everyone, I hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves. So today I'm going to talk about, you know, the brutal ways narcissistic parents shame their children when they see their kids grow, evolve and change. And before I get going, I would request you all to like, share, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell so you guys are updated whenever we put out a new content. So we know, you know, relationship is all about return, gain, profit. Yeah, when we look at narcissistic setups, narcissistic parents, you know, choose to become parent, you know, not for altruistic reasons. Yeah, it's all about return. Yeah, a little investment, short term investment and long term return. Yeah, that's how they see, you know, um, children. So, you know, uh, they breed for return and, you know, it's all about, you know, uh, give, give and give what you can give to the narcissist and expect zero things in return. We know that narcissistic parents are expert in, you know, shaming their kids for having needs, you know, grooming their kids to, you know, uh, suppress their emotions, grooming their kids to, you know, put aside their needs and prioritize their parents' wants, needs and desire. So narcissistic parents are like those, you know, um, I would say those breeders, animal breeders who, you know, uh, raise animal, you know, for meat, for milk, you know, who raise chicken for, you know, eggs and meat. So, you know, they are like those, you know, uh, farmers or, you know, producers, yeah, who create things for return, yeah, small short term investment with huge long-term return now narcissistic parents hate when their kids grow evolve and you know change they basically you know want their kids to be in that infantilized state they don't want their kids to grow and you know become an adult and you know see things in their own unique way they don't want that and you know that's the reason they gaslight their children they triangulate things they manipulate you know things and this is all basically to keep the kids away from evolving and growing you know the way how a normal natural human does yeah they basically stunt the kids growth and that's how they have the kid on hook I mean, till the time they are alive. So when they see that the kid is evolving, when they see that the kid is growing and maturing and, you know, understanding things, the kid is saying no, the kid is, you know, uh, not playing along, the kid is, you know, uh, exercising his, you know, autonomy, the kid is doing things his or her, you know, own unique way. So, you know, all of these things are like a red flag. Yeah, they really don't want to lose their supply source, which they have created. Yeah, there is a lot of emotion behind it. Yeah, because they bred you for return. And, you know, when they see you outgrowing them, you know, they feel sad. Yeah, they think that you will run away and, you know, um, they will have to again, you know, you know, find new sources of supply. So it will be quite a lot of hard work. So in order to keep the kids on hook, they do a lot of nasty things. They don't let the kids develop self-esteem. They don't let the kids, you know, uh, develop their self-worth, yeah, their own unique identity. They don't allow their kids to develop the way how healthy individuals do. Yeah, healthy individuals raise healthy adults and then, you know, they set them free. With narcissistic parents, things are different. They want the kids to be some way or the other you know dependent on them they don't want you know the kids to be independent and you know grow up to be a healthy regulated adult they don't want that yeah because if they grow up to be a healthy adult they might not you know uh, take all that bullshit that the narcissistic parents you know throw at them they might not play along they might just go no contact they might just you know cut off the ties and that's not what the narcissistic parents want 
so they start all that brainwashing they start all that conditioning from an early age yeah because it's easy to mold the child and kids don't have any other option apart from their caregiver in this case narcissistic parents yeah where will the kids go they have got nowhere to go so you know um, it's very convenient for narcissistic parents to invest all their energy and effort in you know manipulating and brainwashing their children yeah rather than you know uh, investing all that energy and effort on their spouse yeah because spouse is an adult spouse might not choose to you know play along the spouse might just you know divorce them but kids are a better source of supply someone who will not run away someone who will be permanent and someone who's been guilt tripped and shamed you know from childhood yeah so you know when they grow up to be adult they will not run away instead they will be trauma bonded yeah with their narcissistic parents no matter how much narcissistic parents abuse them exploit them and you know torment them these kids will again you know go back to their narcissistic parent yeah because they are you know emotionally enmeshed in a very unhealthy way yeah and the credit goes to the narcissistic parent so narcissistic parents you know invest in a lot of energy effort money emotion when it comes to you know raising their children yeah they will do more you know because they see these kids as source of supply and you know they know they are very you know uh, sure that you know the kids are not going to run away yeah the kind of you know conditioning the kind of brainwashing i will do these kids are not going to question me these kids are not going to run away i'll tell you something you know uh, only 20% of the kids actually you know are able to go no contact or who you know outgrow you know the narcissistic parents successfully rest 80% of the kids are somewhat involved somewhat you know trapped in that you know cycle somewhat you know um, connected to their narcissistic parents yeah i mean the reasons can be endless but yes the reality is not uh, all of us are able to go no contact yeah i mean in some of the cases you know things are so jumbled up things are so badly and meshed and you know and tangled that it's very difficult yeah there is a lot of collateral damage and you know the kids decide not to you know uh, go through all that rather than you know just uh, let things be the way it is and let me emotionally distance myself and you know uh, let the things be the way it is yeah because if i'm going to do something if i'm going to go no contact my father might cut off you know the financial support my father might disown me my father might do this and that my mother might do this and that so you know kids also want to be in that safe zone and they just play along and they just wait for their parents to die that's it i mean i'm telling you honestly so you know uh, these kids uh, you know uh, choose to be in the relationship because there is a lot of damage if they leave and if they walk out of that relationship there is a lot of damage there is a lot of collateral damage and uh, you know uh, it's it's very difficult for these kids to survive all by themselves i mean there can be endless reasons i mean uh, you know uh, as to why these kids you know are unable to go no contact yeah everyone has their own reasons at at some point i also had reasons why i was you know connected or in contact with my narcissistic family but when i was strong enough when you know i had taken the full control of my life when i was financially independent i decided to go no contact and you know uh, start over things again yeah but everyone is not the same everyone's situation circumstances are different so you know uh, when kids begin to grow when kids begin to evolve that's like a red flag for narcissistic parents and then they start you know aggressively shaming and blaming the child yeah and they do this so that they can put the kids back in the place they can guilt trip the child they can shame the child so that the child you know uh doesn't you know uh take charge of his or her own life and simply you know surrenders and you know gives the total control to their narcissistic parent the first way how narcissistic parents you know shame their kids for growing changing and evolving is by ridicule and mockery so narcissistic parents will make fun you know of your achievement goals and interests 
and you know they will also you know uh, be little your achievement they'll say oh rubbish this is nothing when i was you know of your age i did so much more this is nothing let me tell you yeah stop celebrating all of these things this is nothing i made a house i bought a car i did this i did that and look where you are you are talking about this trophy you are talking about this you know pay raise you are talking about this uh, you know a uh, position you know that you have got in your office this is nothing i did much more so they are going to be little you know your effort they are going to be little your success achievement they are going to basically you know shame you and you know make you feel unworthy they will try their level best to instill this you know feeling of inadequacy and you know uh, self doubt and this is basically to you know throw you off balance this is basically to make you doubt your own achievement your own you know doings and this is basically to you know uh, uh make you doubt your own self when you doubt your own self you are easy to control you you know uh, simply surrender yeah because uh, it's coming from your caregiver's mouth that you are useless you have accomplished nothing your achievements are useless yeah when they were of your age they did much more than you they are already belittling your achievement your success you know your you know career graph so you know kids i mean adult children of narcissistic parents you know uh, develop this you know self doubt and this feeling of being unworthy and as a result of which you know uh, they keep doing what they do but you know there is something inside of them you know that uh, dies with time yeah their self esteem self worth confidence all of it dies with time and you know this is basically to you know keep the kids on hook if they are you know uh, independent if they are you know uh, a regulated adult if they are not believing the narcissistic parent if they are you know exercising their control and autonomy if they are not letting the narcissistic parents decide things all of it is a red flag narcissistic parents have not bred you for all that narcissistic parents have not bred you to be independent individual yeah if they would have had you know bred you for you know altruistic reasons they would you know set you free but narcissistic parents don't do that yeah they want you to be connected and you know somewhat you know anchored and hooked on to you know uh, the string that they you know put you on so narcissistic parents ridicule you and they mock at you yeah and they will be little your you know success achievement and all of it is basically to instill this you know feeling of inadequacy and you know unworthiness yeah i mean my father is not you know uh, validating you know my success and achievement because it's not good enough he did a lot more when he was of my age uh, maybe i need to do a little more yeah i mean all of the gaslighting the kids are you know confused and you know uh, they simply give up the other brutal way narcissistic parents shame their children for growing evolving and changing is by withholding love and you know approval so narcissistic parents you know often use love and approval as you know a tools for control they might you know withdraw affection love support you know when you pursue your own career path when you you know uh, make you know uh, your own independent decisions when you choose a partner for yourself when you decide to do things your way you know they will withhold all of this and this is basically you know uh, to uh, you can say make you feel guilty for seeking independence yeah this is basically to train you to keep seeking their validation and approval before doing anything so if you make independent choices if you you know go ahead and select a partner for yourself you know all of that is not going to make them happy instead that is going to make them feel more insecure and the reason is that they bred you for return and if you do things your way that is like a red flag yeah they did not want you to be an independent individual they want you to be a a codependent individual yeah they don't want you to do things your way they want you to do things their way yeah the way that benefits them yeah so you know uh, it's all like a red flag for narcissistic parents and you know as a result of which when they get triggered you know they simply withhold love affection and approval and all of it is basically 
to starve you starve you of the parental love so that you go running back to them and you you know uh, beg for their love attention validation and approval and you are like oh no i'm 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 so sorry you know for doing things independently uh, i really apologize mom please forgive me dad please forgive me next time i'm going to consult you and do things so you know they want you know um, adult you know babies they don't raise their children to become healthy normal adults they raise their children to grow up to be adult children adult babies yeah whom they keep controlling whom they keep you know manipulating whom they keep exploiting the other brutal way narcissistic parents you know shame their children for growing evolving and you know changing is you know by public humiliation so narcissistic parents may shame you in front of the others including family friends or even strangers and all of it is basically to reinforce your dependence on them and discourage you from asserting yourself yeah they want you to be dependent on them yeah so they are going to shame you criticize you and you know do all sorts of numbers on you in front of the others yeah and then they are going to gang up with the others and further you know torment you guilt trip you and all of it is basically to you know uh, reinforce your dependence on them they don't want you to become independent basically they want you to be dependent on them wait for their approval validation and then you know go ahead with things don't do things your way don't do things you know um, however it pleases you yeah do the things the way how it pleases the narcissistic parent so if they see you doing things your way they are going to shame you you know in front of uh, the others they are going to humiliate you in front of the others in front of strangers in front of family in front of friends in front of relatives they are going to tell you well he doesn't listen to me he does things his way i mean uh, i i really don't know i mean uh, what he's up to uh, i am much more experienced i have given birth to him so he should uh, you know at least ask me but he never asks me he just does things uh, all by himself and you know i really don't know what he is going to you know do in future i really don't know what kind of trouble he is going to invite in future so you know they will discourage you shame you guilt trip you and make you feel miserable for deciding things you know for yourself they want to be the ones who will decide things for you and not you the other brutal way narcissistic parents shame their children for growing evolving and changing is by you know a uh, comparison to others so narcissistic parents will constantly compare you you know with your other sibling or cousins or you know relatives and you know this is basically to you know make you feel as if you know uh your success is not good enough your achievement is not good enough you need to be like them they have done better than you yeah and this is you know simply to gaslight you this is simply to throw you off balance so that you know you don't uh, feel good about your accomplishment and achievement and success and you you know simply get into the rat race yeah you simply you know start competing with your sibling with your cousin and you want to be like them and not be your own unique self and pursue your own unique path so the narcissistic parents are victim into comparing you with the others and this is basically to you know uh, make you feel as if you are not good enough and your success is not good enough your achievement is not good enough yeah compared to the others yeah and this does the work yeah this uh, confuses you and this uh, puts you in self doubt and as a result of which you stop doing things your way you simply you know hand over the controls to them and you simply comply you simply do things their way yeah because every time you do things your way you don't feel that great they make sure that they make you feel miserable yeah when you are alone or when you are in front of the others or when you are with them they will make sure that they put you back in your place and they have got a lot of you know uh, tricks up their sleeve to put you back in your place the other brutal way narcissistic parents you know uh, may shame their kids for changing evolving or growing is manipulative guilt trips so narcissistic parents you know uh, might use guilt to control your action implying that your growth or the changes you know that is happening in your life or that you are doing to yourself you know are selfish and hurtful 
to them and to the others i mean the other family members you know grandparents neighbors cousins they have their own you know uh, set of bullshit that they throw at you yeah so these manipulative guilt trips are basically to tell you that you know what you are changing in yourself or you know your new uh, attitude or your new way of life or you deciding things for your own self is something which is hurting the elders hurting the family and this is basically to you know uh, guilt trip you and shame you yeah this is basically to you know take back the autonomy from you this is basically to make you you know hand over your controls you know to them yeah because every time you do things your way they are going to come up with a narrative that you know this is so bad others are feeling so bad about your decision um, everyone is laughing at me that your son didn't ask you before you know making this decision your son didn't ask you you know before getting married your son didn't ask you i mean how am i going to you know face them how am i going to reply them you have got no idea what shame you have brought on to the family so narcissistic parents are going to you know orchestrate as if you know their you know uh, respect their honor is you know linked or related to all of your actions yeah i mean it, it can be as silly as you know the color of clothes you prefer they might say other relatives are laughing other relatives are asking me why is your son wearing this kind of clothes yeah so it can be you know absolutely irrelevant things that they can come up with and you know they can cook and they can you know present it in front of you yeah absolutely irrelevant no connection but they will use anything and everything you know up their sleeves to you know guilt trip you and to manipulate you so yes manipulative guilt trips are there where they you know use other family members neighbors cousins this relative that relative to further guilt trip you and make you feel as if you, whatever decision you have taken or whatever you are doing with your life you are being selfish everyone is seeing as a selfish move yeah you are not asking others you are doing it all by yourself you know that means that you are a selfish you know uh, kid you are unworthy you are uh, very mean yeah. you really don't care about the others yeah. so yes manipulative guilt trips uh, you know is also you know one of the ways with the help of which narcissistic parents shame their children when they see their you know uh, kids grow heal evolve and you know change the other brutal way narcissistic parents you know shame their children for growing healing evolving and changing is by invalidating feelings so narcissistic parents will you know dismiss or minimize your emotion experience and feelings yeah making you feel as if your personal growth you know and challenges are trivial or unimportant yeah what you are going through what you are experiencing what you are talking about is absolutely useless and unimportant yeah it's not uh, that important yeah so they are going to simply dismiss invalidate and this is basically to you know uh, make you feel as if your challenges your experience your emotion your feeling your ups and downs are not important at all yeah you should just keep it to yourself and just do the things you know that is expected out of you yeah um, don't talk about your emotions don't talk about your feelings don't talk about your ups and downs don't, don't talk about your challenges don't talk about you know the things that is going inside of you keep your mouth shut and keep doing the things you know that is expected out of you yeah. and this invalidation of feelings emotion and experience basically you know makes us feel as if you know uh, we are unworthy it's it's better to suffer in silence rather than talking about things and you know get invalidated and minimized on a regular basis let me suffer in silence let me do the things that is expected out of me yeah that's the kind of effect it has on us yeah i mean this constant you know uh, invalidation and minimization of feelings experiences and emotions the other brutal way narcissistic parents you know uh, shame their children for becoming independent growing healing evolving or changing and transforming is by exaggerating your flaws so they will keep a track record of all your flaws all you know the times that you have you know made mistakes or error 
and they are going to keep on talking about it they are going to rewrite history they are not going to talk about the good things about you they are not going to talk about the good things that you have done instead they are going to keep talking about the flaws keep talking about the shortcomings keep talking about your mistakes and this is basically to make you feel incompetent and you know um, you can say incapable of change you really don't need to change yeah you just be the way how i want you to be yeah because you know they don't embrace change they don't you know embrace change wholeheartedly they don't appreciate your change your transformation they don't you know uh, uh accept your authenticity yeah so what do you expect out of them if they are not accepting your authenticity if they are not accepting and embracing your change your growth your evolvement i mean what else do you expect from them apart from you know this gaslighting apart from exaggerating your shortcomings flaws mistakes and errors yeah that's what they you know will go on repeating repeating you know in front of the others in front of you and this is basically to you know uh make you feel as if you are incompetent and you uh are not capable you know uh to change you will remain the way you are or the way the narcissistic parents project you to be yeah you will remain the version that they are telling yeah. you will forever be the version they are you know uh, suggesting you to be yeah you cannot be any other version apart from the version they are suggesting yeah if you try you will be shamed you will be belittled you will be invalidated you will be guilt trip and you will be put back in the right place yeah they have a lot of ways the other brutal way narcissistic parents shame their children when they see their kids changing growing evolving and you know um trying to be independent is you know uh enforcing unrealistic expectations so you know narcissistic parents might you know impose unattainable you know expectations and you know then they will shame you for failing to meet them yeah i mean that's a, a very interesting one and what this does is that you know it creates a sense of you know perpetual failure and inadequacy inside of you yeah we feel as if you know we are failures no matter what we do we are going to fail we will never succeed yeah and we feel inadequate maybe i'm not good enough maybe i'm not fit to do this yeah so that's how they you know erode your self worth self esteem confidence yeah by you know enforcing unrealistic expectations yeah. they will keep on shifting and moving the goal post so if you have achieved something which they wanted you to achieve 5 years back and now you have successfully achieved it narcissistic parents are not going to you know laud you or you know uh, tell you well son you have done so well uh, i i'm really proud of you i'm really happy no they are going to tell you well i know i mean look what people are doing now this is not good enough all of this achievement and you know these things that you're doing it's not good enough look at their son look at their daughter look where they are and you are still stuck there uh, all i can see is just a little bit of change and growth you know in this five year yeah they will simply invalidate minimize and you know make you feel as if you are just worthless you're good for nothing so it's better let me do things the way how my narcissistic parents want me to do yeah so they will keep on shifting the goal post and they will keep on you know enforcing all these unrealistic you know uh, expectations and you know standards and this is basically to keep you on hook so that you keep doing more and more and more to prove yourself and you know uh, get their love affection and validation but uh, we know all what we get in return is tiny bit of crumbs that's it yeah so yes these were a couple of you know brutal ways narcissistic parents shame their children when they see their kids trying to be independent when they see their kids growing healing evolving changing you know all of it is like a red flag yeah and in response to that growth and change you know narcissistic parents you know brutally and vehemently shame their children and you know gaslight their children and do all sorts of nasty things yeah so this was it in case if you would like to add in something you can always comment below till then take care of yourself lots of love and blessings to all of you bye